How can your child practice delayed gratification every single day? I recommend you start with chores. If your child is three years of age and older, your child can start daily chores. Chores in the morning, before school, after school, after dinner, and chores on weekends. How do you motivate your child to do chores? I do not recommend you use money because money is not a good motivator for children. Also, if your child does not want the money that day, your child will not feel obligated to do the chores. So do not use money. Instead, use what they want to do as the motivator. So for example, it, this is all on the principle of you work before you play. And that's the delayed gratification they're practicing every single day with chores. So if the work's not done, the play doesn't happen. So what is are examples that you can use? Well, if your child likes electronics like TV, computer, video games, you can use that. If your child is involved in organized sports in the evenings or organized arts, uh, that can be a motivator as well. And so you'll learn and your child will learn that it'll be a little bit rough in the beginning as your child figures out what the boundaries are, tests the boundaries, and goes through some short-term pain when they realize they don't get to do what they want to do when their work's not done. So this is a practical way that your child, children can practice delayed gratification every single day. Now, if you have a teenager and your teen's doing chores already, there's many other things you can do to have your teen practice delayed gratification. Teens are motivated by freedom and money. So use their freedom as a way that they can practice delayed gratification. For example, in John Roseman's book, Teen Proofing, he gives a great example with curfew. And when your child is 12 years of age, you can say to that, your child, how would you like it when you're 16 to set your own curfew anytime you want? And your child will be like, yeah, I'd love that. Well, here's how you earn it. Starting at age 12, on Friday and Saturday nights, you have a 9 p.m. curfew. If you come home before 9.01 for six months straight, I will move your curfew to 9.30. But if you come home for five months before 9.01 and have one slip up, come home at 9.02, then the six months starts over again. And so you'll work your way up to midnight and then once you graduate midnight for six months of coming home before 1201 your curfew will move to whatever time you want to set it and you will have to abide by that time that you set and we are responsible parents so we will expect you to call us every hour 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock etc and tell us where you are and who you're with and we can also do spot checks on you. So if you're not where you say you are or not who you're with, that you say you're with, then that's in violation and the six months starts over. So that's a great example with your teen's freedom of how they can practice delayed gratification on a regular basis. Stay tuned for the next characteristic, which is critical for teaching your children how to be very creative with their money, how to do more with less.